ventilators. We're now the the king of ventilators. We have, as you'll hear from our experts today, we've already built sufficient testing capacity nationwide for states to begin their reopenings. And I think you'll be hearing a lot about reopenings in the coming weeks and months. Uh, most excitingly, in the coming weeks, I think you're going to see some very, very dramatic steps taken, and very safely. We're putting safety first. Uh, we may be opening, but we're putting safety first. Our ranches and it's uh, money well deserved. So not only uh, I think we're heading to the other category, and that would be if we if we did work and if it was successful. They had between a hundred thousand and two hundred and twenty thousand to two hundred and forty thousand on the upside. And I think we'll be substantially, hopefully, below the 100 number. And I think right now we're heading at probably around 60, maybe 65,000. And one is too many. I always say it. One is too many. It's a horrible thing that happened to our country. There's a horrible thing that happened to 184 countries all over the world. There's a horrible thing, and there was no reason for it. That should never, ever happen again. Destruction. We don't need them ourselves. The governors are in great shape. If we And we did the right thing. We saved maybe millions of lives by doing it the way we did it. But we're paying a price, but that price is very unimportant compared to the number of lives we're talking about. Capacity in the states available for governors to tap. This invisible enemy is tough, and it's smart, and it's vicious. But every day, we're getting closer to the future that we all I've been waiting for, I talk about the light at the end of the tunnel. We are getting very, very close to seeing that light shine very brightly at the end of that tunnel.